Before assembly, the seal must be closely inspected for the following defects. No damage on the circumference of the sealing lip or the outer diameter. Check that the pre-tensioning element has no flash or damage. Any damage disqualifies a new seal from use. Never reinstall a used seal or a pre-tensioning element because there may be defects or geometrical changes you can't see. This will result in a loss of pretension or cause the seal to fail. Beyond the seal itself, the grooves must be carefully examined. The bottom, walls and edges of the grooves must be free of damage, such as burrs and nicks. The surfaces and dimensions of the grooves and the rod should be finished according to Trelleborg Seeding Solutions specifications. See surface specifications in the app and groove dimensions in the Hydraulic Seals Linear Catalog or on the Trelleborg Sealing Solutions homepage. Assembly tools must not have any sharp edges and should be routinely inspected to make sure they have no burrs or scratches. Calibration cones must have a lead-in chamfer. The edges must be rounded. The small cone diameter has to be smaller than the inner diameter of the installed rod seal. The recommended material for installation tools is polyamide or polyoxymethylene. For further information and support, please contact your local Trelleborg Seeding Solutions marketing company. The installation of rod seals on a clean support plate is recommended. Install the pre-tensioning element into the groove. Avoid twisting the O-ring. Place the installation cone into the bore so that the edge of the tool ends exactly at the groove flank and all grooves above it are covered. Insert the Turcon rod seal into the assembly cone. Position the pusher tool above the seal. Push the seal slowly through the assembly cone until the pusher is at the stop point. The Turcon rod seal snaps into the groove. The inner diameter of Turcon rod seals must be calibrated in the final stage by slowly pushing a tapered calibration mandrel through the assembled seal. The seal will now sit tightly in the groove. If the mounting force is too high for a manual operation, support with a machine, for example a press or a drilling machine, is recommended. If no assembly tools are available, the following installation method is recommended. Install the pre-tensioning element into the groove. Avoid twisting the O-ring. Form the Turcon rod seal carefully into a kidney shape by hand. Avoid any sharp bends in the sealing lip. If the seal has notches, it is important not to bend it in the position of a notch. Insert the Turcon rod seal into the correct orientation into the closed groove. Reform the seal with the finger in the direction of the groove. The inner diameter of Turcon rod seals must be calibrated in the final stage by slowly pushing a tapered calibration mandrel through the assembled seal. The seal will now sit tightly in the groove. Cover the tips or sharp edges of the screw threads to avoid damaging the seal during the mounting process. To avoid shearing the convex part of the seal left over from reforming it into the groove, Turcon rod seals must be calibrated after the mounting process. The rod outer diameter must have a lead-in chamfer of 15 to 20 degrees, which must be deburred and rounded. Single acting seals must be installed with the pressure side correctly orientated to the direction of pressure. The seal must have no sharp bends and not be damaged by overstressing. Trelleborg Seating Solutions, your partner for seating technology. www.tss.trelleborg.com